Peace family. What happened? What happened? What happened? Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, man, I just wanted to clock in. And, um, yep. <laughs> yep. Looked like I was right. I was right to, for, to be a buyer beware of the hot boy of the moment. All right? I, I said buyer beware. Slow it down. I said that. All right? And sure enough, it's coming into fruition. Shout out, first of all, yesterday was lit. Yesterday night was lit. Thank you to everybody, everyone that, that got on that live yesterday. I'm telling you, it was absolutely everybody. Um, you know, Kelly, um, who's the guy? The guy who made it, the guy who just turned it upside down. Um, you know, I'm not looking right now. I'm driving, but I mean, shout out to everybody that, that got on it yesterday, man, because you made the show. You made the show, man, for real. You made the show. Um, obviously, I mean, Al, you know, shout out uh, to him. And also Arsenal guy, Muslim, everybody that came up, all the moderators and shit. We need more spirited discussions like that, you know, and, and not once did we go into, you know, the usual stuff. And you learned a lot. All right. I learned a lot. Actually, it just made me want to, I got to pay attention more to obviously England and I, I need to learn more. I'm always, it's always about learning, always about learning people. That's, that's some real shit. So shout out to everybody and, and listen, Arsenal, you are welcome anytime, anytime on the live. I mean, y'all made it lit. So thank y'all for that. Uh, but yeah, your boy, uh, Kwame Brown, all right? I said, I said, be careful, right? I said, be careful, slow down with dude, because, you know, dude made some good points. He went after the people he needed to go after, but guess what, though? Check this out. Man, now remember I said yesterday, I said, don't be surprised if this dude is on Jesse Lee Peterson's show in short order. I did say that. I said that, right? Well, I want you to listen to your boy. Hold on a second. Listen to your boy. And I hope y'all can hear. Just 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 listen. Let me let me wind up the, the window because y'all may not hear, but check check out your boy. I knew the bourgeoisie and the educators was gonna come. I seen the disrespect that you hold to get these young men. Yeah. I seen a young brother with a double neck. I was waiting on him next. With a double neck talking bad about an army veteran that started school and trying to help the people. Instead of you filling in and being an elder and helping him. You Actually, hold up. You know what? Because this dude is speaking low as hell. Hold up a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I hope this phone doesn't fucking fall while I'm pulling out the plug. Hold it. Ah. Uh. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. So I'm going to blast it in, in my in my boom box here so y'all can hear for your seal. But this is Kwame Brown in his latest video, and he's going after a Mr. Boyce Watkins. Look what I do. Why but you want to talk about this? Why don't you talk about what the fuck? Hold on. He's going after Dr. Watkins now. So now he's going after everybody. He's got a lot to say. And once I get it down pat, that's what you're worried about, Amy. That a little old bus, without all these pretty degrees, end up got the world watching them in a week. Imagine if I could have met you, doctor, 20 years ago. You probably wouldn't exist. <laughs> People wouldn't be looking for no leaders. They'd be leading themselves. I ain't nobody's leader. And I'm not putting myself above nobody. That's why everybody's eating off mama's cooking. Doc, I'm something else. I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm just different. So you and the bourgeoisie, y'all might want to leave me the fuck alone. 
<laughs> I done told you now. Mama season is still watching. I knew the bourgeoisie and the educated was gonna come. I seen the disrespect that you older gentlemen give these young men. Yeah. I seen a young brother with a double neck. I was waiting on him next. With a double neck talking bad about an army veteran that started schools and trying to help the people. And instead of you an elder and helping him to look at me show, you want to compare notes. Look what I do. Why you want to talk about this? Why don't you talk about the Shit. Ah, okay, I'm out, I'm out. I hope y'all caught that. Did y'all catch that? Hold on a second. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Here, let's check it. Came around a couple of experts, and then I realized. Oh. Okay. But y'all don't have that. Y'all want to have a look at me show. Y'all want to go get pre degrees, talk so goddamn loud, talk so fast, and everybody's supposed to believe you because you're an expert, right? But sorry, Jesse Lee Peterson. Shout out to you. I've heard there's no such thing as an expert, and I've been around. And, and there you go. And there you go. And there you go. I told y'all, associations, you associate with Tommy Sotomayor, you saw that. And Tommy Sotomayor associates with Peterson and the rest of them. And see with Kwame Brown, and I wanna reiterate this and give the disclaimer, I don't mind this dude going after some of his enemies from 20 years, all right? Two dudes who didn't even have a better career than him when you look at it. When you look at, at Mark, at, at um, Matt Barnes and Stax, all right? They had longer careers, but look how many teams they had to go through in a short time. They didn't have any staying time with one team like that. And they started overseas. So their careers, you can look at their careers. I mean, they both got chips, but they basically... Both of them, especially Matt Barnes, just went along for the ride. So, pound for pound, you can say that Kwame had a better career than both of those dudes. Plus, he was picked number one. So, you know, I mean, I'm not mad at him going after them. I said yesterday, Charlemagne, uh, Charlemagne I mean, he's basically kicking a carcass. But dude came out, his YouTube channel was opened up in 2013. That's after he retired. So you have plenty of time, I, I, and I gotta look through a YouTube channel again. You have plenty of time, homie, to go after the Breakfast Club. Now all of a sudden it's canceling what? Cause they took a swipe at you. And, and meanwhile, little mama, he, he made fun of a black woman and made her cry in front of the world. Did I see any videos for you on that? So, but I, I said, watch this dude's worldview. Now again, you can be a black conservative. You can be a black Republican. There's nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that because they're both both Democrat Republicans. They're two wings and a dirty bird. So it's not about being a black Republican, but as we know, and this is on on the Democrat side too. They do the same same coon bullshit. But as you know, there's some black Republicans. You can have you know, like Ben Carson. I mean, he's like. You know, I, I listen. He's 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 basically he's basically a money grubber. Ben Carson's just, he's I mean he's a Republican, but he's also he also looks he also chases uh, cash. He chases persons. So that so dude is he's definitely all about the money. Or you can be like Diamond and Silk, two hoes who are basically trying to you know milk it milk this thing, but embarrass black people at the same time. Ben Carson doesn't embarrass black people. He's just Again, he just chases the money. And then you got a bunch of grifters. Where does Kwame Brown fit in this? Where does Kwame Brown fit in this? Yeah, he talks about the manhood talk and taking responsibility and what have you. But I'll tell you something, bro. Because you said something on that video with the Breonna Taylor video. You spoke a little bit about what's going on in your own life. Okay? And yes, he's got a bunch of baby mamas. And if he takes care of them, then that's cool. But... Buck around, one or two of them may come out and start throwing your dirty laundry out there. You know what I'm saying? So he's now at what? He's close to a quarter of a million subs right now, which is ridiculous. But yes, yes, 
I said it yesterday, man. I said, be careful, but you know, tread lightly with this dude because his worldview, all right? I, I mean, I wonder what he thinks about, I, I think he did a video on Makai Taylor. What does he think about that? What is his real feeling about George Floyd? We know what Jesse Lee Peterson and Tommy Sotomayor feel about George Floyd. What about you, bro? Give your take on that. How independent are you? Or are they gonna use you as a puppet to push their agenda? Now, Boyce Watkins decided to stick his foot in his mouth yet again. And I guess, I didn't press the video, but I guess the video was like, okay, now they're gonna come after Kwame Brown for, um, for speaking out. No, if anything, they're gonna come out and they're gonna use him. If anything, this dude may be a foxy in, in short order. Who knows? I mean, so this the boys tried to try to say, oh, they're gonna I guess he tried to say that they're gonna they're gonna use or take advantage of Kwame Brown and Kwame Brown took offense to that and like on some nobody's taking advantage of me. But listen, they throw enough money your way, homie. Who knows? We'll see. But now, now I said this a couple of days. I mean, again, everything he said, he see he he went after a bunch of people. And he he basically pulled the cover over on, on a bunch of people who happen to be fuckboys. I mean, Stephen A. Smith and Rachel Nichols out of the business. They should be run out of the business for what they did. And, and Matt Barnes, again, they're, they're two scrubs who, if you really look at it closely, their, their careers were worse than, than, than Kwame Brown's. They weren't picked at the time. They had to start overseas. Kwame Brown, at least... He got picked number one and he, he stepped right into the lead. And they got a lot of nerve to laugh at him. And Charlemagne, obviously, but again, where were you with all these people before you got, got you know, slighted? All of a sudden you got slighted now. See, I, I don't like this whole man of the people type of shit all of a sudden. We're always looking for the next man of the people. Now, Kwame went viral. Now he's the new man of the people. He's the new leader, all right? But now, you know, again, you know, what, what, what is he leading us to? He, gives, he drops us some talking points here and there, but, and? So what? So, um, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm driving you. I'm not looking at a chat like that. I might, you know, I, I wanted to put that Jesse Lee Peterson, Umar Johnson, um, debate on the shelf but you know what i may go back to that i may go back to, i may have to now because now kwame i like i said don't be surprised if he's chopping it up with jesse lee peterson and jesse lee peterson just drops all the coon shit and kwame never checks him and don't be surprised i think maybe that's what boyce watkins was talking about so yeah man that's that's it that's what i that's basically it man with uh Kwame, another, you know, an another, another, uh, you know, more, more revealed about, you know, where this mind is at, where his head's at and what, and what his dominant, uh, beliefs are, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting, but, um, like, I hope you had a good day. Obviously it's starting to rain right now, bro. You know, so. And I'll probably catch you on the next live. It may be tonight. Who knows? Fuck around. But thanks for joining, for coming on, y'all. And, uh, ah, oh, they're blowing me. Ah, oh, fuck y'all. Yeah, man. Peace. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. I'm out. Big up.